today, you don't know if you know, we said it. Today's our anniversary. So I brought my kind of lunch. It's our anniversary lunch of 57 years. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah. All right. What we need to get is your face, not mine, because be, you know, oh. you know, I'm gonna be happy with it, baby. Mm. It's my kind of food. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll be happy with it. All right, guys, it come from Panera. Okay, so and that's I talked about Panera before. So it's bread, right? <laughs> Stop laughing. Okay. Just one minute, baby. Bursting with flavor. Huh? Bursting with flavor. Right. Well, yeah, look at this dinner. It's in a, a bowl. Oh, okay. Awesome. Wow. <laughs> wow. Watch out, baby. Oh, I thought it was going to be bread and water. <laughs> I don't know what that stuff is. Soup, baby. There you go. That's Voila. Mine. That's mine. Okay. It's called Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Mm. Yes, love. Oh, I gotta open her toy. When you marry 57 years, this is the kind of company you have on your anniversary. <laughs> Which to me is a delight. I know, it may be too. She's awesome. His would be, I know, if I had brought chicken and uh, okra. Well, the day's not over. <laughs> the day is not over. Well, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get me a. We fed up. And, uh. Don't you fall out with him, serious. Or are you? We went down to Cal Pine and I took my cutters and cut a few of the little vines. Not many, just a few. Uh, Dan, I think, is out of town this week. If he comes back, uh, hopefully, he'll go down with his chainsaw and. Cut them little trees out of there, and I get Ben to pull them out and put them in my fire pile. Uh, besides that, I'm gonna go up and do some stuff around the house. Got some projects to do. Ben's over helping G inside the house. I think she decided to put the, the tanning bed in her bedroom. So they're moving some stuff around in the bedroom, so I got out of there. <laughs> I got out. Yeah, she always has company out here. Always somebody taking a nap with her. Old oh, Simba. Sometimes you see Mick laid up her sleep, or Macy, and even uh, Seamus and and, and uh, Roman. They all take turns out here taking naps with her. It's really cute. Mix out here a lot at night, all night long. It's a special place to it. I guess this means it's nap time. Is that what we're doing here? It's nap time? Well, I still got work to do, kids. I got work to do. They think it's nap time. In the middle of the crepe myrtle here on this uh, corner of the house. I guess that's what you call it. I transplanted it from the backyard. It's coming out good on the corner of my little kitchen. And the other one here is slower, but it's coming out. I see little buds all over it, so it's on that corner. It's gonna be awesome, that'd be pretty. Gee, I brought our, our anniversary dinner home. Yeah, well, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. She loved it, yeah, it, so I loved it too. <laughs> I eat every bit of it. That wasn't bad, seriously. I, I just, I'd never eat it before. Oh, this is good. Uh, I'm, I've got me a water hose. I've got my splitters. Uh, as soon as I get a, a chance, I'm gonna go down to the sanctuary 
and hook up my water hose, my splitter water hose. I'm gonna water those onions today. They, they were dried out yesterday. I'm gonna give them a good soaking. And many of them don't like them. I do. I'll eat. I'll eat every one of them. Just, you know, over time. I love green onions. But yesterday you couldn't even pull them up because so that ground was so dry and hard, like concrete, and they'd break off. So today I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a good soaking. They'll love that. I was in the goat pen. He's not happy. Not happy. But he's in there, and the little goats be safe with him in there. Uh. That coyote come up close enough back there to catch a guinea or two. And next thing you know, he'll he'll smell them goats, and he won't think twice about trying to dig in and get him one. So it's important that we all, all of us around here, work together on not letting them coyotes get a hoped, not letting them set up a feeding station, so to speak. Once they start eating here and we don't bother them, <laughs> yeah, they'll be here every day. It's time to go eat. Let's go over to the sanctuary. Let's go over to Pawpaw's. Let's go over to Jake's. Let's go over to Dan's. Let's go to Kim's. Stephanie's. Let's go eat. <laughs> Be like a cafe. Oh, a buffet. I'm on my way down to the sanctuary to hook up my water hose uh, and water those onions. And maybe later today I can go down and, and plant the cucumbers. Uh, I have the seed in the freezer. I keep them in the freezer year round. Uh, I bought the seed in bulk. My babies, like a pound at a time. And it lasts for several years. But you keep it in the freezer when you're not, you know, planting. And they'll stay good. This is Gate Ellie put up yesterday. I helped him with it a little bit. He did a great job. He did a good job. I like it. I like it. I think he's got one more hinge to go right over here. He's got these two in. This is to help uh, keep dogs from coming up his driveway. I think it's what his plans are. Uh oh, whoa, that's not hooked up at all. It's okay, Ellie. Ellie, I'll help you finish it, son. That's not hooked up. This one is binding on that rail somehow. Uh, he may have to back his hinges out. Yeah, he's gonna have to back these out, further out and bring that away from right here. That's easy enough to take the gate off, just take, put a wrench on it, just start backing it up. Yeah, that's what he'll have to do on that. Okay, so let me move this gate here out of my way. And we're gonna drive through. Put a splitter right there. Put LE's hose on uh, one side of it, and my hose on one side. I don't know if my hose is gonna be long enough. I may have to go buy another one, but it'll be temporary. I can at least today water in these uh, these onions here. At least that much. They need water bad. Okay, I've got it hooked up on a splitter. I've got it all tight, no leaks. And we're gonna see how far my water hose will reach, and then I'm gonna water these onions. Okay. I'm almost positive it's not gonna be long enough. Just about gotta get another one hooked to it. Or, I don't think this is a 50 foot one. So I want to soak this guy a little bit. Not sure what this little tree is, I'm going to water it. It's real dry.
let that soak in. Right, let's see how much hope. going to reach all the way across. Okay. Actually, it does. It does. That's awesome. It's going to reach all the way across. That is so neat. Praise God for that. Huh? Yep. It's going to reach. There's maybe a foot or two slack. A foot or two in it. And I'll just hang it right here. And I go back over there and I'll cut my my side off. I got it at least cut off. Uh, and that's what's good about a splitter. I can cut my side on and they don't even have to be out here and doing anything. And then I get through, I cut mine off. They can come along, cut theirs on and do the same thing I'm doing. And you know, I soaked the onions good. And uh let it soak in and soften up that ground a little bit. And I might be able to get a few onions. Right now, I'm going to head back home and check on G. And see, I ain't got a whole lot of slack over there. See, a little bit. Two or three foot. That's awesome. All right, I'm on my way out of here, guys. So I can just cut my mine off right here. It's off. It is off. He, just, he wants water. He can come along and just cut it on. Just like that, he got water. Just like that. And if they want to keep it cut off up here, they can. Not a big deal. Okay. I'm out of here. Put this gate back like he had it. He's just got it propped up. And I'm going to back these out a little bit so that gate will, will open. That's all it needs is to back it out a little bit. Get a ring shooter to do it with. Me and this girl go to work on them gates. You just wanted to do a project with me, didn't you? I was, I've been laying awake at night, baby, wanting to do a project. I know, I know. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. I got enough projects done without having to wait for you. Did I, you happen to bring a socket? I hope he's got a wrench set. I didn't bring a wrench for it. Uh, my dang dog is out and down there. See, that's why he's putting the gates up, keeping your old dogs down here. No outlaw dogs you got. Little Woody don't go no trouble. Little Woody comes over to my backyard and barks at me. <laughs> yeah, well. Squeezes right through my panel and barks at me inside of my backyard. Well, uh, Little Woody ain't got no problem. Trying to straighten you out. Go home. Go home, fuck. Oh, he lost a nut off this one over here somewhere. So we get, I went and found a nut in the shop and we're gonna put it together for it. For him. Hang on, I'm coming. Well, he'll come out later and he'll think a good fairy came when he was gone or asleep or uh -uh, whatever. I'm gonna text him and tell him I did it all by myself. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. So you come down, you saw he needed some help, so you just fell in here, your little kids crying and hungry, yeah. wanting to eat, but they mm -hmm. couldn't eat till you so got through. I had a bad day today because I was working on these gates. All yeah, the little children went without dinner. Oh yeah, doctor it up, baby. Tell him he owes me a job or two. Yeah, yeah. Be real good. Yeah. Well, Pop, I'm stuck. Come back a ways. There you go. What would you do without me? 
I you'd be stuck. Don't you'd know. be stuck here on this gate all evening. Life would be so rough. I can't get here. loose, Ellie. Help me! I can't get loose. I would have just left it here before I stood here all day. <laughs> Let that reach on it. All right, baby. That's got it. Still functional there. with the wrench on it. He can tighten them up. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. He, he sure can. He can tighten them up their own there now. Let's go, Woody. Come Don't. On, Head on home. Where's Feather? You need a ride? No, we'll walk back to the backyard. All right, baby. I love you. Love you. Come on, Woody. Let's go. Woody, Woody. Woody, Woody. Woody, Woody. Woody, Woody. Woody, Woody. <laughs> Hey guys, eat that grass, good. And you got hay over there if you need it. When grass is green, cows don't care for hay. They only eat hay if ain't no grass. Yeah, what's the problem in here? What's the problem with these guys? What's up, soap? <laughs> right, little deer. Dan come through yesterday and said, Dad, your little goats are out in the in the loading chute. I had to put them little screens across there this morning because they go through them bars. <laughs> they go through them bars, lay up in that loading chute there looking out. Woody, Woody. Let's go, Woody, Woody. Well, I'm going to go in the house with my bride of 57 years. <laughs> Our anniversary and, and help her babysit. And we're going to have a romantic day, evening, one, one evening when we ain't got kids. We'll take in a movie or we'll go somewhere, eat, whatever, whatever she wants to do. Today we had like a little tied up, a little tied me over type thing, a little dinner she brought home, and it was good. It's not what I would have brought home, but it was good. <laughs> she said, you'd have brought home fried chicken. Well, I probably would have. All right, all these guys are taking it easy. I've been, like I told you, out there in, in the green, green meadow <laughs> in the goat pasture. Uh, he's not happy about it. He's not happy because he sees a miracle out there on the field with the cows. But he needs to be here for protection. That's his job. And in a day or two, he'll be all used to it. And he'll be harassing these people. And he'll be harassing me. He'll be angry with me every time he comes up here. He'll want me to feed him extra because he's doing such a good job. And I will. He'll get extra treats. All right, let's go ahead and check on G. Uh, he came up here with Sophie. I mean, uh, Moki. You know, he and Moki and Miracle were raised together. They were all on bottles where he's on the bucket at the same time. So they have all grew up together. And... In the goat pen, besides Sophie, who was his little nurse, Moki's his next favorite. I, I guess maybe Moki might be, I don't think Moki's more favored than, than Sophie. He loves Sophie, but he likes Moki too. Uh, he's going to be fine in here. He's done settled down a little bit. And uh, he'll get extra treats in here for doing a good job. And I am going to go in and get a, a glass of tea or something. And I've got to feed my little girl. It's time for her third little bottle. She gets four bottles a day. Uh, probably about six ounces, seven ounces, something like that each time. I don't really worry about measuring it too much. I go to a certain level on that, on that Coke bottle. And uh, about half full, I guess. It's a... I think a 12 ounce bottle, or it may be an 18 or 16 ounce in it, but I'm, it's not quite half full, I guess. So you get around six or seven ounces. But anyway, uh, and this afternoon, I think all I'm going to do is mow the yard. So I'm going to probably cut this off at this point. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if I do any more this afternoon, it's something besides just mowing the yard, I'll put it on here or I'll start another video. Okay? Depending on how, many, how much time's on this one. I love you guys. Don't forget, uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hit the like button. Share with a friend. And uh, hit the uh, notification button because sometimes I put out an eating video like uh, 
Well, actually, tonight you're going to get an evening video. And this one here may be an evening video. But usually my videos are all at 5 o'clock in the morning. Then if I do an evening video, it's usually around 6 or 7 at night. So just check on me. I love you guys.